Hola, mi amigos. Robert Galloway here, and welcome back to my channel, The Fishing Realtor. About a month ago, I did a video on a 10-day trip I was on aboard the Intrepid Sport Fishing Boat. It was a Jim's Custom Rods fishing trip, and I made it just for the fun of it. Uh, I really made it for the guys on the trip, just something so we'd have a memory to, you know, click back on. But I put it on YouTube and the response I got was super, super overwhelming. I want to thank everybody out there that, you know, watched the video, uh, gave me a thumbs up and even subscribed to my channel. I really didn't think um, anybody was going to watch it. Yeah, I didn't even think the guys on the trip were going to watch it. <laughs> but it was very humbling and I really appreciate it. But I had a lot of comments and a lot of people asking me what kind of gear I would bring on a 10 day trip. So I decided to make a video on that. I was going to do one day, two day, three day, but every trip is different and I bring different gear on every trip. Now I'm going to go over everything. I am not sponsored by any of these people. I'm not yet. Peace. Um, <laughs> or anything like that. This is just what I like. Everybody's different. You know, just some people like Ford trucks, some people like Dodge trucks, some people like Chevy trucks. Everybody's different. Um, so this is what I like. And this is what I brought on my trip. So I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, first off, if I was start off with my lighter gear and I'll work my way up to the heavier stuff. Um, this one right here is uh, my bass rod. It's uh, a California blank, super old. A lot of this stuff I accumulated over 25 year span. It's not like I just went out to the store last night and bought everything. So, uh, this is a California blank. It's rated 12 to 30 pounds. Um, you can see the tip here. Super flexible. Um, super fun for calico bass, barracuda, bonita, smaller yellow tail. It's, it's, it's so much fun. I, I just love fishing. And let me get my glasses here. And let me go back to you. The model it's a California 270 it's a seven foot blank okay and I have it paired up with an Abbott uh, this Abbott I've had for close to 20 years now it's one of the first ones it's a, a gen 1 it's a two-speed and I just love Abbott reels they are my go-to reel if I'm gonna had to pick a reel it, I would pick Abbott me personally um, I have it spooled up with a 50 pound spectra in a top shot of either 20 or 25, it depends on the fish get finicky. It's maybe 40, 50 yards on there. Um, I don't put a lot of uh, top shot on my uh, reels, I except for my jig sticks, and I'll get into that. But I like a shorter top shot. Okay, that's number one. And number two is this one I would bring on almost every trip. I don't care if it's a day and a half, three quarter a day, overnight. This is my go-to stick. It's a uh, Calstar Graphiter. It's an 800M. So 800 stands for eight foot. Um, it's a little bit more stiff. I had this wrapped in 1999, I believe it was. Um, I think I only paid $200 back then to get a custom wrap. Uh, which was great. The prices have gone way up since then, but so is everything else. Um, it's rated 20 to 40 pounds, super lightweight. Um, I have it paired up with a Saltiga uh, reel. It's a 30. It's a star drag. It's not a lever drag like the other one I showed you. And um, this one I have a full, completely filled with uh, Spectra. And it's 65 pound spectra I have on this one. And then I use a small top shot if I'm gonna fish bait, um, floral carbon. Okay, um, I don't use this particular one, this one's 12 pound. But I just, for an example, show you what I use. Let's get on to the next one. Now, this is another bait stick I have. Uh, this is an old seeker. I don't know the model number. Uh, it's in between those two, but it's still a lot of fun. 
Uh, I have it paired up with a Abbott. This is a Raptor reel Abbott. This is a two-speed here. You see there, it has the easy button. And this is a lever drag. This is what I was talking about, a lever drag. Compared to the other one, it's a star. You spin it to tighten the drag on it. This one, you just push the lever up. Really, really nice. I, I really like that feature. And I have 65 pound, or excuse me. Yeah, no, I have 65 pound Spectra. And I run about 30 uh, pounds of Top Shot on here. 30 pound Top Shot, probably about uh, 75 yards on this one. Um, I use this as just strictly a, a, a bait fish for bait fishing. Um, and then my next one, I have this is a little bit heavier. You see the tip here, I'll try it. This is a United Composite blank. This one is a US 70XH. It's rated 30 to 60 pound line. Um, I had my friend uh, Jim, uh, Jim's Custom Rods, wrap this for me. This thing is beautiful. Um, it has zirconian inserts in the, in the guides, all Alps components, Alps reel seat. And this one has a little bit bigger reel on it. This is an Abbott, this is a JX Raptor. Uh, the Raptors are just, the brakes on them are just second to none. They're more brakes than you'll ever need, but that's our drag than you'll ever need. Um, but it works really, really well. I love Abbott, so they are my go-to. Again, two speed, lever drag. This thing is sweet. I bring this on a lot of my trips. Okay, put that right there. And I have that one uh, with 65 pound Spectra and I'll run about a 40 or 50 uh, pound top shot on the top. Now we're going to do a heavier stick. This is a Calstar. This is a 700 XH. It's, you can see the tip here, it's a lot more stiff. I work my way up and I have different rods there because we need so many different rods for it because of the different line class of line I use. So, and you don't want to be outgunned out there, especially if you, you, you hook into a nice bluefin or yellowfin tuna. Anyways, this one's uh, rated 30 to 70, I think, or 30 to 80 pounds. Um, I don't have any markings on there. I just know it's a 700 M XH. So if you, you know, it's a Cal Star, it's a Graphiter. This thing I use a lot for uh, throwing Wahoo bombs. It has uh, a Raptor reel on here, a JX two speed. See the two speed here again. You have to excuse the noise outside. The guys are doing construction and repaving the streets. And it has cast control on here. This is set up here. I, re I really like this. I'll throw it for Wahoo bombs. Uh, I even yo-yo fish with it. I won't get into too much tackle today. Just get to cover what I got here. This, this is a great, great setup here. And I even got a heavier stick. I know they're all wrapped the same, but this one here is an older seeker. Um, it's a 670 XH, it's rated 40 to 100 pounds, and you can see the tip is even stronger still. This thing, I've picked up beautiful 100 pound uh, bluefin tuna on this thing, it, it brought it in no problem. Um, this one I have a bigger reel on here, this is a, a, an Abbott HX, okay, uh, also a two speed. The drag on this one is like in the 30 pound range. It's crazy. I mean, I think it's 38 pounds um, at full. Uh, don't quote me on that. I don't know the whole stats. All I know is I never had to put it to full. It just works that really good. And I changed the handle on this one and put a bigger handle on there. So if I happen to be cranking in on a big fish, uh, it makes it a little bit easier. And I have a 100 pound Spectra and an 80 pound, and I sometimes I drop it down to 65, uh, a top shot of mono. 
I use pink candy. Uh, there's a lot of good lines out there. I just prefer pink candy. I get bit on it. It's what my grandpa used to use it and he used to get bit. So, you know, I just follow it and I love it. So, let me put this one back. Now, um, every time I go on a trip, I like to throw a surface iron. It's so much fun. If you get into fishing, I know you guys out there that fished before know this. Throwing a surface iron and getting bit is just one of the best feelings ever. You throw it out and you watch it and you watch some fish come up and just Wah! It's It's no better feeling. Now, this is one of my first jig sticks that I got. This is an older Seeker. I don't know the model number on it. Um, there's no markings on here, but I talked to a guy and he told me it was a long beak Seeker. It's eight foot two. So it's kind of an odd, eight foot two or eight foot three, I don't recall. Uh, but this thing is fiberglass. The other ones, most of my other ones were uh, um, excuse me, graphite. I was gonna say carbon fiber, but graphite. The, you know, and this one's fiberglass. This one will hum a surface iron really, really well. One of the lighter surface irons. I use it for my lighter surface irons, you know, um, Taddy 45s or uh, jerk bait, you know, anything like that. And I have this paired up with. Put this over here. A Trinx 400. Um, I really, really love these little things or tanks. Um, I brought in a 45 pound yellow fin or yellow tail with this and, and it, it, it just worked perfect. I couldn't believe it. I thought the fish was smaller, but it made it feel smaller with this thing. When I came to, you know, color, I just went, wow. But anyways, these little tranks are excellent. And I have 65 pound Spectra on this one. And I, this is one of the few ones that I don't have a top shot on for throwing a surface iron, um, but it works out. Uh, one thing about Spectra is there's no stretch in it at all. So you gotta be really careful because that fish jerks its head or anything like that. It'll rip the hook right out of its mouth um, because there's no give to it. Unlike mono, mono has a little bit of stretch to it. That's why guys, a lot of people that throw service irons put a top shot on there of 100 pounds. Now I have another jig stick. I just had this one wrapped last year. This one is nine foot. It's super lightweight. It's, you know, ounces. I don't even think it weighs a full pound. Um, but it's a 9E or a 900E. It's a United composite. It's rated 30 to 60 pounds. This can hum a Salus 7X like nobody's business. I mean, it's a little bit bigger jig than the Taddy 45, but man, this thing works like a champ. And it pulls a fish right in. The backbone on this thing, for being how long it is, I was super, super surprised. It's a, you know, Pretty fast action on here. Um, that means the, the tip bends more towards the end of the rod. And then once you get, you know, if you got a medium action, it'll bend more down here. And then more parabolic, the whole rod will bend. But this one is really fast. So the tip, you can see there's hardly any bend anywhere else. And this will just whip out a surface iron like crazy. I am so glad this is becoming one of my favorite sticks. For surface irons and then I have this monster here <laughs> I can't even get the whole thing in here this is a 10 footer and it's graphite as well super lightweight um, I have Alps components on here uh, Alps uh, guides as well and I don't know if you can see this but I had it tiger wrapped and it just came out beautiful. Jim's Custom Rods built these three for me. There's another one over here I'll show you in a second. And I use this one for surface poppers. Okay, this is so much fun. 
is again throwing an iron or throwing you know any kind of artificial you pop it across the water and watch a tuna boil on it I had a ton of fun with this thing with a, uh, throwing the popper the last trip it was just great I had to get it from the deckhand so I can play with it everybody really likes to throw the popper when you're out there okay now if even if you're going on a shorter trip there's some big fish really close nowadays the bluefin tuna are within a day and a half two day range and so you've got to bring a bigger bigger outfit so i would bring probably this one here this is my rail rod this is against jim's custom rods wrap this one uh this one is a 76 it's a cx 76 centaur 60 to 100 pounds now this is very deceiving when i say 60 to 100 pounds because i i really think they underrate their rods i mean look at this very any any flex to this thing at all and i've heard of people pulling in 300 pound fish with this rod right here um it's a rail rod this one i have the foregrip this is the foregrip here uh put on here so when you you can rest it on the rail and just work that fish right in um a lot of people are doing that nowadays it's you know so you, you're not out here like this and you're you got it mostly right here and you can work the fish the boat goes up you reel down so but i always bring you know back five you know five ten years ago you went on a three-day trip you everybody would laugh at you for bringing something like this but nowadays it's it's common everybody has to bring it because the fish the big fish are really close if you can get out there and get one i recommend it and I have that paired up with another Abbott. This is an Abbott HX. It's um, a 5.2, two, two speed. Again, easy button and lever drag. This thing, again, I heard a guy, well, I went on a trip with a guy last year and he brought in a 300 pounder with this reel right here you know um which is pretty amazing i i, I couldn't believe it. Goes, yeah 300 pounder and it's again it's a it's an abbott raptor this thing is really really nice i like abbott's because they're close uh to where i live they're made right here in you know la county um and i can get parts super easy for them and they're really easy to work on. I mean, if you take the guts apart on this as opposed to um, a Shimano reel, there, there, there's just so much more to these than just the Abbots. The guys that made these Abbots really knew what they were doing. Okay, on to my next trolling run. Now this one here I'll use for trolling or um, Throwing down um, a yo-yo, which is a butterfly jig or a knife jig. And let me get my glasses back on here. This is a Calstar. I really, I had this wrapped over, well over 15 years ago when I really liked, I really liked Seeker and Calstar back in the day. But United Composites really learned to, uh, you know, they, they, they happen to be my favorite now. Um, Things change. Maybe you know, I'll go back to Seeker or um, you never know. But anyways, this is a Calstar. It's a Graphiter series. It's a 760XH. It's rated 50 pounds to 130 pounds. Um, this here, you see, it almost has the same flex as the Centaur, but the Centaur is only not rated as high. But this thing's super lightweight, you know, I can crank on a fish, you know, yo-yo or uh, butterfly up and down, up and down. Um, I like a, a shorter one uh, for, I use it for trolling as well. I like a shorter stick for trolling because if you get a troll bite, everybody's, you know, 
throws in the water and you got to be able to maneuver around people and the, the longer trolling rod just can't do that. And I have that one paired up with another Abbott. <laughs> this is a 30 wide again. This was I bought this in 2006, I think it was. Uh, I've had it for a long time. And it, these, these reels work just as good. If you take care of your stuff, clean them after every trip, they'll last forever. I mean, it, it, these things are just bulletproof. Um, again, two speed. Uh, I run, a, this is the heaviest line I run. I run a 120 pound Spectra in a top shot of uh, 100 pound on this one. This, this is awesome. I love these habits. And then my last one. This one here is a 670 XH, uh, but I broke the tip off of it. And one of my friends who's old school, he goes, yeah, you just make a trolling rod out of it. So we used to do back in the day. So this was my, actually my very first trolling rod off a broken stick. <laughs> it's, it's a 670 XH even put cut on there. It's really 40 to 100 pounds, but I think it's a little bit heavier than that. I mean, this thing is a beast. Um, I pulled in a, a big yellowfin tuna down at um, Alejos Rocks back when they were really good sizes back then. And this thing horsed it right in, no problem at all. I love it. I had a I had a pen 60 on here. That's you know how old it is. And back in the day, that's what we used. But you know the technology nowadays is just like wow, crazy. So and I have that paired up with this reel here. I got rid of all my old pens. And I don't even fish pins anymore. Um, the newer models are amazing. I hear I haven't fished one yet, but I hear a lot of great things about pen reels. But this is a Makaira, a Kuma Makaira. Almost sounds like the Lion King, I crack up. Um, Makuna Patata. But anyways, this is a 20. This thing is so, so smooth. When I was fighting the fish on it, I had to look down and see if the line was going out because you can't even feel it. It's just like, wow. Super quiet. Super, this thing has torque on it like nobody's business. You, you can, I bet it's a single land a 500 pound fish, no problem. But hopefully knock on wood one day. But this thing, I can't say enough about my Cairo. Kuma's really, really come a long way to um, two speed. I have a 120 pound Spectre on this one. It's awesome. I really, really learned to love this reel. Okay, and I think that covers just about everything I brought on my trip. Um, the uh, one jig stick, or the two jig sticks, that I, I forgot to go over the reel, so the 10 footer, I'll use this uh, Diola. This is a 40 HA, and it has 65 pound Spectre and 40 pound Top Shot. That's this rod here. The 9E that I talked about. And this one's a star drag instead of a lever drag. Star drags are just cast a little, well, I really can't even say that nowadays. I mean, the technology has come so far. The lever drags, like the lever drag in this, it, 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 you spin the, the spool on this thing and it just goes like crazy. It's unbelievable. Technology is just so, so far nowadays. I can't, you know, I can't even imagine the improving for, you know, years. But anyways, I really, really love the Dios. Um, my other Dio that I have, this one here, I went over. This one I bought in 2002. And man, this thing works just as good today as it did back in 2002 when I got it. This was my first real setup that I put together with the newer technology without, you know, the pen 500 reels or anything like that. And then my big stick, I'll get back to this one. This is my 10 foot monster. Um, 
the reel I put on this one, keep hitting the roof, it's so long. I'm going to run um, this Tranx 500. I just got this. I used, I, I used to fish this Abbott JX. This is a Gen 1, not even Gen 2. They're up to, to Raptors, the third model. Um, but I'm going to fish with this one and run straight Spectra because I, I'm going to fish just strictly poppers on it from now on. And with this zero stretch, it'll bring that popper, you know, make a big splash. So. Hopefully this will work out. Theory, I don't know. Hopefully it'll work. If not, I can go back to that one and put this on a jig stick. All right. Well, thank you everybody. If you like what you've seen, um, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And if I can get up to a thousand subscribers on this channel, um, again, I was totally shocked at all the people that watched it. I think I had over 40,000 views on it. Um, I'll start doing some, you know, free raffles and things like that for you guys to, you know, enjoy as much as I did. So, anyways, so thumbs up, give me a subscribe, and if you have any questions or anything like that, you go ahead and write a comment, and I'll try and get back to any questions you have. All right, thank you so much, everybody, and that shock us for everybody out there that liked the first one. I'll talk to you later. I'm out.